Hey everybody, it's Joey. I'm gonna talk a little bit lower because it's late at night and <clears throat> to be honest with you, I just need to get a couple of things off my chest. This is a story time video, but it's gonna be a two part story time video. This originally was just supposed to be how I got into a car accident story time video, but something happened to me today that um I just need to discuss because it's 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 really, really, really scaring me. Okay. So I'm going to do what happened today first, and then the car accident. Well, I may just talk about what happened today, I don't even know, but I'm not feeling good at all. Okay, so, what happened was, was that, um, well basically the car accident weighs into this, so okay, I'll just talk about the car accident. So what happened was, was that it was a couple of weeks ago, it was really raining really bad, and um, I was driving up with the car that I have, and the car that I had was crazy. A duct tape all over it, you couldn't even see the color of the car anymore. It was very, um, it was just damaged. It was just damaged. Like, you really couldn't drive it. I mean, whatever, but, um, it was raining and it kind of slid when I was driving up and it kind of hit the wall. And if the wall wasn't there on the highway, I would have drove right off the, the highway and I would have died. The car was totally totaled. So I got a new car. So what happened was though that I was on, I was in the car and I was worried because I was like, oh my God, I was like, I just got into a car accident. This is one of the worst car accidents I've ever gotten into. I got really scared because I was like, if this wall wasn't here, I would have drove right off and died. So my dad came and he decided to wait in the car and wait for the tow truck, which took hours. I I couldn't wait because I, I was on my way to a job interview. So I couldn't, I couldn't stay. I had to go to the job interview. So my brother drove me to the job interview. My dad stayed with the car at the car accident. When I was literally in the middle of the, I was literally on the side of the highway. It was, it was a spectacle. But that's basically what I want to say about the car accident. Um, I, I wanted to go more in depth, but something happened today that I just feel like I should go more in depth with. Um, but basically, that's what happened with the car accident. So, I was fine, though. I was perfectly fine. There was no damage and nothing to me. I was perfectly fine. I was just in a state of shock because um, I never got into an accident like that, and that was really scary. It was raining, and it, the whole thing was scary. It, the car slid, hit the wall, and um, I just uh, I got really scared. I was like, oh my god, this could be it. I could be dead. Uh, I, I could have died. I was really, really worried about it. And um, the fact that I was on the hill and that if I took my foot off the brake, I would have slid right down the hill. So I had to put on the emergency brake. So it was a whole thing. Anyways, my dad stayed with the car and I went to my job interview. Anyways, fast forward to today. I do have a new car. It's bigger. And um, what happened was, was that I, I was going to class and I was leaving. I was leaving the car and then I was I went back in to grab my um project so while I was going in to grab my project I bumped my head really hard on the door of the car and right away I felt anxious and I just felt very upset so I sat in the car for a few minutes. I sat down and I took a deep breath. I said, I have to get to class. So I went to class. I was walking to class. I was like seeing stars. I was like dizzy. I was like seeing like, uh, I was just really dizzy. I got to class, I sat down. And I don't know, I just kept talking about it to everyone. I was like, you know, I'm really worried. I hit my head and I'm a little dizzy. And I'm not feeling good. I'm nauseous. And I looked up the symptoms for this. And the symptoms are if you're nauseous and you feel fatigue and dizziness, you should go see a doctor. So class ended. I went home. And I decided to wait it out. But then I started to feel numb. Numbness around my whole mouth. Numbness. Around, I still feel numbness around my mouth, my ears, my whole face. I just felt very numb. So I made myself a cup of tea, and I called up my grandma and everything, and she just was like, yeah, you should really go to the hospital. I'll go get get checked out. With that, my dad took me, in the pouring rain, because it's raining right now, actually, took me to um, a walk-in urgent care unit. Went to the urgent care. 
I know this is not a big, this shouldn't be my concern. My concern should be my health and the fact that I'm numb and, and, and everything else is going on with me. But I do have to um, just say and admit that when I first walked into the doctor's office, the doctor smelled really bad. He's had very bad body odor. And you know me, I love smells. I know people who smell good. Not even, you don't even need to smell good. Just don't smell. And he smelled really bad. And to me, that's a, that's a big turn off. And I was actually thinking about how that was a turn off for me because, you know, I walk into a doctor's office. If you smell, that means that you don't take care of yourself. So that means are you clean? Are you, should you be taking care of me? Should you be looking over at me if you're not cleansed? If you're not clean? If you didn't take a shower? Like, I don't know. It's just, he smelled really bad. He was a nice guy. He was nice. But he just smelled really bad. And that just turned me off from the get-go. But I let it go because, listen, I'm there for something more important, my health. But the other thing that worried about me that really turned me off with this doctor is that he checked me, but he really didn't tell me anything that really made me feel better. He just was like, your vitals are good. I checked your eyes. Your eyes are fine. Um, he said the numbness is worrying me, but he said that if it continues tomorrow and you still feel this way tomorrow, you should go get a scan. Get your head scanned. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I feel like even if I do feel better, if I don't or whatever it is, I'm going to get the scan regardless. Because I just, I'm really worried right now. I still feel very numb. I'm still dizzy. I still don't feel good. And I was crying the whole car ride. I was really, really scared. And um, I think, um, I'm just really scared. I bumped my head before, but never like this. And um, once I bumped my head, I knew that it was it was different. It wasn't like a regular bump. I knew something, I knew something went wrong. And to me to tell this story when it's happening live right now, because this literally happened today, it's happening right now as I speak, is kind of scary because um, this is um, what's going on right now in my life. This is this isn't just a story time. This is this is this is real life. Like this is what's going on right now. So um, I'm really concerned about my health. I'm concerned about my well-being. I'm concerned about the numbness in my mouth, the numbness in my ears, this buzzing in my ears, this dizziness. I mean, it's, it's just I'm nauseous. It's just a lot of symptoms that are worrying me. So I will keep you guys updated. Um, granted, if I don't die, I'll keep you guys updated for tomorrow. I'm going to go tomorrow to get the scan. And um, I'm going to keep you guys updated during the week. Um, I, I feel um, not good. It, I don't feel good. I actually, I got worse. So that's what's scaring me. But pray for me. Please pray for me down in the comments. This story time was not supposed to be about this. It was supposed to be about how I got into car accident and almost died, which is still horrible. But, um... This, I think, even tops that because this is actually something that's going on right now and that it's real and I actually could could be very hurt right now. Um, I don't I don't have a bump, but I think it's eternal, internal pain and I hit my bump my head all around here. So um, it's just really bad. Um, I hope you guys just pray for me. I need prayers and I hope everything's all right. I just don't want this to turn into something more crazy. I just want it to get better. Um, I love you guys so much. I'm, I'm, thank you for listening to me and listening to the story tells. It's very hard to talk about. I'm still not feeling good. I was crying the whole time and um, it's just very rough right now. Very rough. Um, I love you guys so much. Um, please pray for me in the comments. Um, I never tell you to like my videos. Never in my life. I never tell you to like my videos because I feel like if you like my videos, you're going to press the like button. If you don't, then you don't. But I really would appreciate if you like this video. If you're watching it, you like it. And just to show me that support, it would make me feel better. So just click the like button. Just to show me that you're praying for me. Um, okay, I love you guys. Um, and bye.